Hello, my name is Dave Martin, and I want to talk about why some Windchill implementations fail. And if you find that your Windchill implementation is not succeeding, how you can recover from that situation. And so, what are some of the different signs of a Windchill implementation that is less than successful? Probably the biggest sign is that your users are unhappy. You hear a lot of complaints about your workflows, processes, doing basic tasks, especially like CAD data management. Another sign is that your administrators are overworked as a result of the failure. They spend a lot of time fixing mistakes or helping the users trying to get their work done. And another sign is that it just takes too long to get stuff done. And I mean stuff like releasing different documents or revising them or performing bomb management, those sorts of things. You, they just feel like it should be easier and faster than it's taking. And another, probably the most common sign, is you just have a gut feeling like, hey, this should be going better than it is. And just give you a little bit of my background. Uh, so I was, and actually currently still am, a certified PTC instructor. I've taught classes from Windchill 8.0, and I'm certified through Windchill 11.2. I've also been a learning consultant for PTC involved in implementations of Windchill at big companies. And also I was a CAD and PLM administrator at Amazon and Blue Origin. And I bring this up just to mention that I've been involved with dozens of companies implementing Windchill and I've seen where they've gone wrong and I've seen where companies have been able to recover from those situations. So let's talk about some of the most common problems involved in creating a situation where Windchill is just not succeeding. And probably one of the primary causes is that you have an insufficient training program. So big thing that a lot of companies do, hey, we're implementing Windchill, let's send our users through a whole lot of training. Let's throw some introduction to PDM link, let's throw CAD data management at them, let's just inundate them with a lot of material. And if they've never seen these different processes before, it's just going to be too much too soon. You really have to pace things out so that the students and the users can absorb the material. Another big cause is that the training itself can be bad. It can be unengaging. It just doesn't capture the student's attention and it doesn't give them the material that they need in order to get their job done. It might go into a little too much philosophy, a little too much architecture about Windchill, and it's not focused on the tasks that the user needs to master in order to get their job done. So how can you solve this? How can you make it better? Well, you want to have pace training in little bits and pieces. You want to give a person just a little bit, just enough so that they can get started doing their job and then have them use Windchill for a little bit and then they get the next bit of training. And so you don't want to give them, again, too much too soon. Another solution for having proper training is not relying just on instructor-led training, not relying on just web-based training, but following more of the YouTube model, having a lot of, especially short videos that people can use while they're doing their job. Hey, I'm doing this operation for the first time. Let me throw on a quick video that'll just take two or three minutes. That'll give me all the information that I need to know in order to get this done. And that's especially useful for tasks that they aren't going to perform that often. There are some tasks in CAD data management that they might only do every month and a half, every two months. You are not going to expect them to remember how to do those different things. And also, in conjunction with that, provide them with a number of job aids, reference documents, or quick reference cards that they can go to when they need to perform those tasks. And those job aids should walk them through step by step for your company's implementation, how to get those different things done. Another common cause of problems with the implementation, 
There's a lot that Windchill can do. Just to name a few of the different processes, you have CAD data management, bomb management, change management, configuration management, software management, requirements management, supplier management, quality management, and more and more. And there's a ton of things that Windchill can do. And as a result of that, if you are just giving them the standard interface, you might be giving them too much. You might be giving them the interface that looks like this, when really they need something simpler for getting their job done, or maybe they need something even more bare bones than this in terms of, hey, I just need to do these few different things for my different roles and my processes only give me what I need to use. And so again, big problem with implementations is that some companies will give everybody the one size fits all standard wind chill interface which just has a little too much especially for people who are only going to be using the wind chill interface maybe once a week or once a month as opposed to the people who might be using it a few times a week as opposed to the real heavy users who will be inside of wind chill every single day and so you have to customize the interface you have to make sure that you are just giving people enough of the interface based on their roles and there are a few different ways that you can do this one way is by using what are called user profiles inside of windchill to turn off certain parts of the interface based on what people need also there are some great apps as part of ThingWorks Navigate, which just have nice little simple interface for the users to pull up. And especially that's for those people who are not going to be in Windchill that often. And the apps are tailored towards specific tasks that people need to do. For example, maybe just draw, pull up a drawing package, pull up a product structure. And in addition to the ThingWorks Navigate apps, Wincom makes some apps that are also targeted towards specific actions that people need to perform based on the roles inside of Windchill. Another problem is that some companies have really, really complicated workflows uh, in terms of getting their processes done. And when the processes are complicated, they are going to be difficult to perform inside of Windchill. And a lot of it's because companies will have workflows that they've developed over years and decades, and they're trying to retain those old workflows, even though there have been major changes to CAD and industry in the past few years. And those old workflows might not make sense anymore. And so when you're going through a windchill implementation, that is an excellent time to take a step back and say, hey, wait, are there changes that we can make to the way that our company operates that can make things simpler and more efficient? And another cause of windchill implementations to fail is that you are implementing Windchill, and there are really three different elements that you have to take a look at. There's process, and there's technology, and there's people, and they fail to look at the people portion. And so there are a couple famous sayings. One is that culture trumps strategy every time, and also Pete Drucker is attributed with the quote that culture eats strategy for breakfast. And so if you don't address culture in your implementation, you are going to have problems. And a lot of companies these days actually have a toxic culture. And so you have to make sure that your windchill implementation focuses on user adoption. And user adoption is more than just telling the users, hey, this is our new tool. You have to use it. Fostering user adoption is about communication and persuasion so that people understand why your company is making the switch and how it's going to end up benefiting them. So adoption is one of the most crucial aspects of a windchill implementation. So let's say that you are not a windchill company and you're looking to implement windchill. What can you do in order to prevent a failure from happening in the first place. 
Well, for one thing, you want to choose the right partner that you're working with when you are performing the implementation. And so, for example, that would be either PTC itself, if you are a really big company, or it might be one of the different resellers. And you want to make sure that you are choosing a reseller who is a master of the three aspects of technology, process, and people. Another Thing that will help prevent implementa implementation failures. If you put bad data inside of Windchill, you're going to have problems with using it inside of Windchill. So you might need to clean up the data. You might need to clean up some of your CAD processes around modeling and drafting before you say, okay, now we're ready to take our existing database and then put it inside of Windchill. Another thing that will help is to make sure that you have your processes defined. And those are the processes for everything from how you are going to initiate new parts and new products to how you are going to release them, how you are going to manage effectivity. So when one part needs to replace another part and also how you're going to manage obsolescence. So there are a number of processes that you want to define before you start installing software. And this again is where your partner will come in. The right partner to help you in the implementation will help you define these various different processes. And the last one, like I mentioned on the previous slide, the adoption plan. The adoption plan is critical because if you can't get the user base to buy in and you can't get the user base to want to use this tool, then you're kind of behind the eight ball from the beginning. And so let's say that you already have implemented Windchill and you are you have this feeling that ah, it didn't go quite right. My users are unhappy. What can you do about it? Well, there are a number of different things. Uh, one thing is to get more involved in apps and dashboards like ThingWorks Navigate and the different WinCom apps, which will make people's lives simpler. Also, training. You might need to revisit how you did training initially and develop a new training plan that is more modular, bite-sized, and can help people conquer the problems that they're having inside of the interface. Also, consulting. Consulting, you know, sometimes you need an expert who can evaluate your situation and provide you advice and get you on the right track. And also, you might need some additional wind chill configuration or even customization to make sure that it is working properly. And so, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope you learned from it. If you want more information about this, please email me at dmartin at creolwindchill.com and you can visit my website at www.creolwindchill.com. Thank you very much.